Uh, time now 506 on your Monday morning. Again, we are still just tracking any potential impacts we could see here. Rain is really one of our biggest threats. Yes, absolutely. So the winds are going to be gusty at times due to the circulation of the system getting so close to us, but I want to emphasize that this is mainly a flooding event. So this has constituted a weather impact alert day for today and tomorrow. So this is a day or these two days are definitely very, very important that you want to keep updated with the weather. We have the risk of flooding, strong, damaging winds, and along with that flooding going to make the soil very saturated, so trees going to be more susceptible to falling down, damaging outdoor structures and power lines and such. So this risk is going to be mainly to our south and east, but this warning does extend a little bit further up to our northwest. I'll get to that in just a minute, but also taking a live look downtown Dublin right now. This is going to be a sky cam. We're going to keep a close eye on over the next two days, but back to school in twigs today. Only a high temperature of 85 degrees with all of this rain and cloud cover and all over the 70s right now across central Georgia. Many of our southern and eastern southeastern counties are not going to change much in terms of the temperatures throughout today, but we're starting to see some gustier winds, all of that yellow and maybe even some red just south of Cordill down there. So the gusts are going to get on up to maybe 30, 40 and areas further down to the southeast have run the risk of maybe even some gusts up to about 50, 60 miles an hour. So we do have a flood watch in place. This is going to be mainly our southeastern half of central Georgia. So from Dooley County all the way up to Sparta and everywhere further southeast, the flooding risk is definitely going to be greatest the further that you go down on I-16. So those are going to be where the heavier rain totals are somewhere maybe close to about 10 inches or even higher, but low lying areas near bodies of water are going to be most susceptible to this flooding. Now in terms of tropical storm watches and warnings, we do have some hurricane warnings down here in the Big Bend where Debbie is expected to make landfall here in the next hour or so, but our county's here in central Georgia. So we have a tropical storm watch from Johnson County all the way down to Dooley County, then Chris County and other areas in between like Pulaski County, Blackley County, Lawrence County and and Shrutland County, but the areas in red that you see are far southeast corridor. We're looking at Dodge, Wilcox, Telfair, Wheeler and Montgomery counties all in tropical storm warning. So all of these areas going to be susceptible to seeing winds from 39 to 74 miles an hour. Those are tropical storm conditions, mainly going to be on the lower end of that range, but still we could have a couple gusts that do get on up there closer to that 74 mile an hour mark. Here's a live look at the satellite and radar and let's take a look. We're starting to see some very, very light sprinkle showers enter our southeastern counties. Telfair, Wheeler and Montgomery, but the heavier rain looks to be situated further down in southern Georgia as of right now. So you're getting updates with us. We're getting these updates every hour now and we will get another update once Debbie does make landfall, but a category one hurricane as of 11 p.m. last night, 80 mile an hour sustained winds and the cone does look to be taking a little bit of an eastern trek, but the wider that this cone gets, the possibilities of its path do get greater as well. So anywhere within this cone are possible paths that Debbie could take and impacts are going to be felt outside of the cone as well. Let's take a look at future view. You'll see the weather impact alert logo up there for today and tomorrow. There's kind of heavier rain bands starting to enter our southern counties somewhere around the mid uh, midday hour and persisting until we get into the evening hours. And you'll notice that this rain does virtually not stop for the next two days in our so southeastern counties. So Dodge, Telfair, Wheeler, Montgomery, Trutland, even some edges of Lawrence County right there. So as I mentioned, the further and further you go down uh, I-16 is going to be the greatest flood risk as we continue to trek through the next two days. Once we get to Wednesday, that's where the question marks start to pop on up. We still see some rain further over here to the east, but what uh, Debbie does is going to be all dependent on the forecast in the next couple of days, and that's how our rain chances are going to play out as well. So wind gusts, you can see all the way up to about 40 miles an hour in our southeastern corridor elsewhere in central Georgia. We're still looking at gusts somewhere around 20 to 30 miles an hour, so definitely going to be a gusty day by wind standards for the next two days, and you'll see the weather impact logo there for today and tomorrow. We want to emphasize that these are the two days that you want to keep updated with us as we do get updates and continue to monitor the weather before having any outdoor plans. For the rest of the week, temperatures back into the 90s, rain chances up in the air. We're all going to have to see where Debbie does go if it goes to the northeast or backtracks here in central Georgia.